In this video, major, major news. Donald Trump, the president of the United States, has just changed his mind about Bitcoin. He says, I'm buying Bitcoin. The Chinese virus is spreading and the Fed is printing unlimited dollars. So far, so good. But if the dollar weakens, we need a backup. He tweeted this tweet just 40 minutes ago and it's already going completely viral. I remember the tweet he tweeted just a couple of months ago when he said that he's not a fan of Bitcoin. Well, times they are changing and now Donald Trump has completely changed his view and he's actually officially buying Bitcoin. And other than that, I'm also going to take a look at the Bitcoin price. I want to talk about where the Bitcoin price is heading in the immediate future. And if you think that that sounds interesting, then I think that you should definitely watch this video. Hello guys and welcome to the moon. My name is Carl and I'm here to bring you this cryptocurrency video. And let's take a look at the Bitcoin price because, well, yesterday I had a lot of comments about the potential head and shoulders pattern, so I want to talk about it. But before I talk about the head and shoulders pattern, I just want to quickly talk more about the fact that Donald Trump, the president of the United States, is actually buying Bitcoin. And this is, of course, not true. Obviously, this is just a big joke. I was just messing around, guys. And uh, this is not a real tweet from Donald Trump. It's April's Fools, guys. It's the 1st of April. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that little joke. And it's actually really easy to change tweets like this. I can just uh, do this and then inspect. And then this will pop up and I can just click here. And this will uh, allow me to, to write anything here. Um, for example, like this and then press enter. And now we can see how it says don't buy Bitcoin instead. So sorry, guys. I just thought that was a very funny way to fool you guys. But yeah, just to clarify, Donald Trump is not buying Bitcoin. At least, I don't think so. And if you liked that little joke, just leave a thumbs up down below. But let's take a look at the Bitcoin price. All right, so yesterday I had many comments about a potential head and shoulders pattern. And a head and shoulders pattern is, of course, a uh, bearish pattern if it confirms. And the thing about these head and shoulders patterns is that they, they mean nothing uh, if they don't uh, break down below the uh, neckline. And if uh, they, they break the neckline, then that's when you can make a trade. And in this case, it would be a short. So let's take a look at this. Well, the first problem I see is that here on Coinbase, this shoulder is higher than this head. A shoulder, head and shoulder uh, needs to have the shoulders below the head. And on Coinbase, we can see that this is actually higher. And that uh, would tell me that maybe this is not a head and shoulders pattern. However, if you go over to Binance, we can see that the head in this case is indeed higher than the shoulder. And, um, well, I I'm just going to make the targeted analysis uh, for everyone who wants to know. But personally, I am not really uh, too comfortable with calling this a, a head and shoulders pattern because of the small in in inconsistencies here. But this is how you measure the targets. And if it breaks down below the neckline, then the technical target should be all the way down here at uh, 4,862, approximately, a little bit depending on exactly where this breaks down, obviously. And something that could uh, go well with this theory is that we do see the uh, the volume go down, as I've pointed out previously. And the thing is that when volume goes down while price is going up, then usually this means that we shouldn't really trust the current price action. Basically, this means that this uptrend might not be sustainable. So let me just show you exactly what this means. So, so basically, when we have an uptrend like this, we would like to see the volume uh, remain the same or, or preferably actually go up as the price is going up. However, if the volume is, is going down as the price is going up, then usually this is a sign that this, is, uh, this move is getting exhausted and uh, we're running out of buyers, basically, and, and we shouldn't really trust this, this price action. And the same goes, of course, for the other way around. Does this mean that Bitcoin is going to break down? Well, no, it doesn't necessarily mean that, but it does mean that we are in a consolidation phase and I wouldn't really trust the current price action because the volume is really coming down. And I would say that as long as the volume continues to go down like this, we won't see any major trend changes. We will probably stay within this range. We have the resistance up here at approximately 6.8 thousand 
and we have uh, support. I would probably uh, put the support box over here at somewhere between 4.8 and 5.1 thousand. As long as the volume is low, I would expect the Bitcoin price to continue to trade within this range. But like I've said so many times, when we see declining volume like this, usually we see this end with a bang, a huge break. And uh, this is exactly what we should be expecting. Big volatility will soon come because right now we're seeing low volatility, low volume and uh, some people would call this boring and I think we could also potentially watch the pos potential a scenario where an ascending triangle might be forming here but I think it's a little bit early to say that this is an ascending triangle uh, right now but let's just keep an eye on this uh, resistance up here at 6.8 and let's keep an eye on this upward turning support here uh, which could be this potential neckline of a potential head and shoulders but like I said I'm not really too convinced that this is an accurate head and shoulders pattern because of the inconsistencies and if you are an experienced trader and if you're looking for a platform to trade Bitcoin, these are the platforms that I personally recommend. Bybit, Femix, Prime XBT. Links down below in the pinned comments. And by the way, just a side note, uh, it seems like someone uh, just a few hours ago on Kraken bought a thousand Bitcoin. And whether this is an institution, a whale, or someone who just accidentally bought a thousand Bitcoin like this, uh, I don't know. Usually you, you would see people do these these kind of deals uh, over the counter OTC because uh, this will maybe lower the spread a little bit and you won't affect price so personally I'm not too sure about exactly what happened here but you can see this massive volume spike spiking uh, straight up here on Kraken and you can see how this uh, candle looks quite uh, amazing actually but yeah I don't have any insider information to share with you guys I just wanted to uh, quickly uh, tell you that someone just bought a thousand Bitcoin and by the way guys if you're not one of my subscribers yet please go down below this video click subscribe and you can also click this little bell and if you now click all here then you will be notified as soon as I upload my next daily video and over on coin market cap we can see that toilet paper token has currently taken over the number uh, one spot on coin market cap and uh, the, I mean we know the Bitcoin circulating supply is uh, closing in on 21 million but the circulating supply of toilet paper token is out of stock and next up I have been alive for 25 years and uh, so far 2020 is the craziest year. I mean, first of all, we have the big virus spreading. People are very fearful about the virus and the economy shutting down. And we also see central banks completely uh, forgetting about all the previous rules and just completely printing money and just doing all of this massive financial stimulus unlike anything we have ever witnessed before. So we are truly witnessing history in the making and I think the next few years will bring about big change to the world and more specifically I think that this change will be most noticeable in the economy and potentially in the monetary system as we know it today. And I want to share this quote with you. And some people say that this quote is uh, completely fake. Some people say that it's just a little bit altered. But I want to share it regardless because it's a very powerful quote. So supposedly Thomas Jefferson said this. I believe that banking institutions are more dangerous to our liberties than standing armies. If the American people ever allow private banks to control the issue of their currency, first by inflation, then by deflation, the banks and corporations that will grow up around the banks will deprive the people of all property until their children wake up homeless on the continent their fathers conquered. Now, I'm not sure if the full quote is uh, accurate, but I'm pretty sure that the first line here is accurate. I believe that banking institutions are more dangerous to our liberties than standing armies. It is a very, very famous quote. And today, exactly this is what's happening. We are seeing the private banks controlling the issuance of our money uh, or our currency. First, the central banks create money out of thin air. They uh, they buy assets from the uh, from the open market. And then these uh, the newly printed currency ends up in the banking system and the banks can then use this currency to create um, even more credit on top of this money so they can expand the money supply um, tenfold, thirtyfold, even fiftyfold in some cases. Um, so through credit, private banks create currency which is used as money around the world. And that is extremely, extremely dangerous because this means that we have a central authority, private banks, that... Um, 
completely control the money. And money is such an important thing for freedom and, and for control. And, and the more control someone has over the money, then the less freedom everyone else has. And like I said earlier in this video, I think that the next two years will bring about big change. And we're already seeing people talk about uh, unemployment rates going uh, much, much higher. For example, Goldman Sachs says that the US economy will experience a far deeper slump than previously anticipated. For example, they say here that unemployment will soar to 15% by mid-year, up from a previous forecast of 9% they wrote. Obviously, these are estimates, but uh, we also see uh, the Federal Reserve, they expect the unemployment rate to hit 32%. This is a Fed estimate. So uh, we're seeing most institutions now talk about high unemployment rates. And I think that it's quite reasonable to expect that to happen, not only because of the massive debts around the world, but also because of the current uh, fears surrounding the, the virus. So they say that there are nearly 67 million Americans working in jobs that are at a high risk of layoffs. And this is not only true for the US, this is true for uh, countries globally. And according to this Federal Reserve economist, Miguel Ferra y Castro, he says that, quote, these are very large numbers by historical standards, but this is a rather unique shock that is unlike any other experienced by the U.S. economy in the last 100 years. And this is a reference to the Great Depression, of course, which happened uh, just over 100 years ago. And remember, guys, for the past two years on my channel, I've been talking about the coming recession, the coming crisis will be much worse than the 2008 financial crisis, and it will probably be even worse than the Great Depression based on all of the fundamentals, the debt levels, the monetary stimulus, and the, the actions by the central banks, the private banks, and all the corporations, and even all private individuals just use Using debt and credit as uh, as in a very very irresponsible way, and now finally we're seeing media uh, covering the uh, threats to the economy that we're seeing currently. And guys, if you enjoyed this video and if you liked my April Fool's joke about Donald Trump, please go down, leave a thumbs up. Let's see if we can push this video to 4,000 likes. Thank you very much for watching this video. And if you haven't seen my Bybit tutorial, then click right there right now. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.